We're here at NRF, one of the largest trade shows focused on the future of retail. I'm here with Matt Redwood, head of our advisory services practice. Matt, would love to get your thoughts on how retail is transforming in 2019. Absolutely. So as you, uh, as you start to move away from traditional point of sale to more of a self-service offering, um, it's a change of so many processes for a retailer. It's a change in the way that they engage with their customers. It's a change in the way they staff their stores. It's a change in the way they operate their stores. Um, so we have to have a different mindset in terms of how we deploy those solutions. So we take a data-driven approach. Um, we work with retailers on their strategy, their in-store operations. Um, we take their data, we analyze that, and then we put together the right solution mix. So you know, a lot of retailers for a long time have had um, point of sale and maybe one type of self-service checkout. If we look at the landscape now, a lot of retailers are saying, how do I go wider and deeper with self-service checkout? So I may have five or six different types of self-service checkout in the store, each one targeted at a different consumer journey. So it's really important that we dissect the front end um, as accurately as possible, and we do that with our advisory services. Got it. So, this trend towards self checkout obviously, there's a convenience factor there, there's a big cost factor there, but you have to kind of re engineer not only the shopping process and that checkout, but also the store experience that goes around it. Uh, you mentioned the advisory services team, and that's an area where we partner with retailers to help them think that through in a very data driven manner. Sure. Um, as you've worked with clients, you know, what actually surprises the client about what they learn about themselves while they're going through that journey? I think what surprises the most is actually all the data that we use, they have access to, but very few retailers actually use the data in the way that we do in terms of actually looking at the performance and the efficiency of front end and really dissecting it to that level. So, so many times we'll have a conversation and they'll say, cash is diminishing as an example in our business. Um, and we prove with the data that actually cash is not going away as quick as retailers uh, expect. So, I mean, that's a good trend where everyone's talking about moving to card only, cash is, is diminishing. You know, Apple, Apple Pay, Android Pay has come along, and that's definitely reduced uh, re, uh, consumers' propensity to pay with cash, but um, it's definitely plateauing. It's not going away as quickly as, as a lot of people think. So that's a great example of how we've used the data to actually prove to retailers uh, what's going on in their own stores. Absolutely, that's a great example. And as I walked around the show floor today, um, I saw a lot of discussion around this digital physical divide, right? Yeah. And how we can bring those things closer together, how you can make the in-store shopping experience more of a user session like you've had online. Uh, talk to us a little bit about what Diebel Nixdorf is doing in that area. Sure. I think um, when you looked at a shopping journey before, it was very linear. Um, a lot of retailers now, they have to think about the cyclical customer journey. So where they engage a consumer um, and how they interact with them initially, maybe at home, it may be via TV, it may be online, it may be on a mobile, it may be walking past the store. Um, so we look at uh, the journey as a circle. How do I engage that consumer? How do I drive them into the store? Or how do I drive them towards the brand? How do you make sure that interaction with the brand is um, as rich as possible? And then once they've left that interaction, how do you make sure they come back to your brand? Well, thank you, Matt. Really appreciate the insights. I think it's great that you know we're consulting with our clients to help them understand how this technology fits into the consumer journey. Everything that you guys are learning in the advisory services team is transferring into the portfolio. And it's very exciting stuff. Uh, thanks for joining us. If you have any questions, you can reach out to Matt via the uh, marketing team. Look to www.debolnixdorf.com for more videos, updates from the show floor. Thanks.